Hi, I'm Barb. And I'm Paul, and this is Travels with B&P. Today we're in the working port of Dakar in Senegal. We're going to take you on a voyage up the northwest coast of Africa, starting from Dakar and heading off towards the Cape Verde Islands where we make two stops. After Cape Verde Islands, we're going to make two stops in the Canary Islands, which are part of Spain. Then we'll finish up with a visit to Casablanca, Morocco, and then finally, Barcelona, Spain. So join us as we discover interesting ports in Northwest Africa. So we are visiting the local fruit vegetable market, produce market. Uh, on one side, it, to the right here is the fish market. I've peeked in there a little bit. Lots of different local fish. So we are in the produce market in Praia. Um, lots and lots of produce. Our guide said that most of the produce is imported. Potatoes don't grow here naturally or onions. But some things are grown here locally. Oranges are grown here. I got some some vegetables are grown here. Bustling place. So now we're in the city square. Okay everyone. We are right now in the square of Alexander Albuquerque. But right now, this meeting that we are seeing right now is Alberto. It is on um, Alexander Alberto the Rocha that's up here. This building been here since 1826. What's it? Hmm. 18, this is the presidential palace. So we are in Cabo Verde, Cape Verde Islands on the island of Santiago. Taking a walking tour of the city. We are near a beach here and a small island and our group is leaving. So I guess I better, we better catch up with them. So we are at the fort here on Santiago. This fort was built by the Portuguese to defend the island. The original settlement was here, but was moved to Praia later on because they had fresh water there. Today we are taking a tour of the isle on the island of Santiago. This is, we are overlooking the city, old city, Ciudad Bella, from the fortress here on the high point of the island. So it's been a pretty good tour so far. We walked around uh, Perea uh, earlier in the day, walked through the vegetable market, and uh, on to the old city. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned, let's see what else we see. It's, uh, views up here are pretty spectacular. Interesting stonework. There is some some cement or mason masonry built between the stones, but a lot of them are just dry fit. Large stones to very small stones. Pretty arid and dry here. They, he, our guide said they get rain maybe three months a year, August, September, October. The rest of the year, no rain. Cabo Verde Island system, there are 10 islands, but none of them are very large. This is the largest island and the most populated island. There's one of the islands of the 10 that is uninhabited. The rest all have some people living in. Well, so we're sampling a local liquor called Grog, made from sugar cane, 40% alcohol. Yes, it's It'll take your breath away. This is where they used to whip the slaves in public 
So the other slaves seen what happened to one slave, so they would not commit the same crime. But if one slave is misbehavior, they will punish him here in public. They'll punish him in public, so the other slaves seen. And this is also the market where the slaves used to be traded. This is where they used to do all the slave trade. Here. And it's still a market till this day. So we have stopped here at Praka Dumar, a little restaurant uh, in the old city of Cidade Vela. And guess what? We're having a beer. This is Stroa. It's made here in Cabo Verde on the island of Santiago. So we're going to take a taste. I can tell you it's cold. Today we're on the Monte Verde uh, volcano. We drove up to the top, and as you can see, there's some pretty steep cliffs. And the road is sort of plastered on the side of the cliffs. So it was exciting. Uh, it's a it's a rock-based road. It took over a hundred years to build the road up here, so it's all done by hand. Down there, you can see the road that we drove to get up here winding back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pretty steep. Some, some places there was only a little bit of a stone wall between us and the edge. Stunning views from up here. Uh, looking forward to the drive back down. And we're hanging on to our hats because it's a bit breezy up here. So that's where we were up on Mount Verdes. High point on this island, 770 meters high. We drove all the way back down, winding road, rock paved road, and now we are in the town or Bahia de Gatos. Thank you. This is Cape Verde rum, made from sugar cane. They call it grog. I've had a grog before, but not like this. Let's try it. Here, I'll drink it. 43% alcohol, but it's smooth. So that's 86 proof? Maybe with a couple ice cubes, nope. it'd go down well Maybe after dinner. Good. At 11 o'clock in the morning, I'm not sure it's the appropriate drink, but cheers. Good morning. We are on the tour of Hidden Lanzarote. We are in the old capital, walking around the town. Most of the buildings here are painted white. That is uh, the way that the people here like it. It's uh, governed by each little city, but it's very striking and beautiful with the, uh, the volcanic landscape behind, the desert behind. This is the highest point. Our guide said it's the highest point on the island. This is Spanish Island settled as a stopping point uh, for the ships going from Europe to the Caribbean. From here we can see Haria known as the Valley of a Thousand Palms. They don't get 
a lot of rain here. He said 17 days a year. Most of the moisture comes from the mist or dew in the morning that's absorbed by the volcanic rocks. And then the moisture leaches into the ground, into the clay ground and uh, waters the plants and any agriculture that they have growing. We are at an aloe vera farm. They uh, make this, many products from the aloe vera, including lotions, bath salts, uh, claim that it heals just about anything that ails you. The tour continues. This is the Jardin de Cactus. This is our Manrique's last construction. Cheers. We are in Jardin de Cactus, Cesar Manrique's last architectural project before he passed away. Didn't know cactus could be so uh, varied and interesting. Very uh, unique shapes. Uh, some of them are flowering. Very peaceful location except for the four or five tour buses that are here. So, cheers. Mind your step, go steady, there's no rush and we have team members to help you throughout your journey through the cave. Mind your step and enjoy the evening. It's time to welcome you to your World Cruise event, a concert in a cave. This evening we've made our way through these beautiful caves, 6,000 years old these caves are, yeah. and we've had the joy of walking through, we made it here, and now time for a fabulous evening of music, put together by our local trio who are all teachers at the Conservatoire of Music here for Lanzarote, so we are in for a special treat tonight. Please put your hands together for your musical trio, Fantasia. Hey. Casablanca, Morocco. Yes. 
morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Saeed. Saeed. Morning, ma'am. Glad to meet you. Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Our driver. Driver. Hey. Your name? Abdul Fattah. Abdul. 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 Abdul is okay. Abdul. Okay. Enjoy. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Always lovely. Good morning. So the, the mask, this mask stops for uh, 105,000 worshippers. Wow. Here, 80 in the open air, uh -huh. 80 pounds. Okay. And then the inside, the interior, for 25,000. The power, the main of it, is. 205 meters. Wow. Hi. Sorry for the company. <laughs> oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. This man is very kind. It's huge. It's beautiful. Lots of Islamic design on the wall, tiles, big plaza, he said it seats 80,000. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. So, as I said, this is the interior of the dust mask. That's got for 20,000 uh, uh, 25,000 in worshippers. For the, the uh, as I said, as I talked to you about the architecture, they have marble. Marble, uh, this marble is uh, local, okay, oh. from Morocco. Then the cedar wood, why using the cedar wood here? Because of the humidity. We have a, a problem of humidity. And the cedar wood from the Atlas Mountains here, this, uh, it's not important and it lasts for centuries and centuries. So they have an, an all look in this up there. So we are in a mosque. This is the largest mosque in Morocco um, and the tallest minaret. Our guide has been explaining about um, traditions of Islam and that we are now in the ablution room, the uh, room where they wash up before prayers. So we are at the shop, the butcher shop that butchers camel. Have some hooves hanging up here, a head, the hump fat. Uh, it's a very lean looking meat. I don't know how it tastes, but uh, they cut it up and then they butcher it. See, they're cutting it up over there. So we are in United Nations Square. This is the Hall of Justice fountain, I think. Okay. Lots of pigeons, lots of tourists. No thanks. Thank you. 
So we've stopped for lunch, Moroccan lunch, at Restaurant des Fleurs. We're going to have some traditional Moroccan food, a salad, a soup, and a tagine. Looking forward to some Moroccan food. Okay, first course is Moroccan soup and a Moroccan salad. Looks like there's carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, and a egg, hard boiled egg with some lettuce. How's the soup, Paul? It's a, it's a lemon. Put a lemon on it. Yeah, we got olives and bread. Today, we're in Casablanca, Morocco. We've had a private tour of the city, driver and tour. We started out at the Il Hassan Mosque, which is across the bay, you can see. Huge mosque, 12,000 worshipers at a time can be there. We then went to the old city, the Medina, where the shops are sold a variety of things, including fresh camel. Well, we're coming to the end of our 140-day world cruise. Hardly seems like it's been 140 days since we got in, on in Miami. And here we are in Casablanca. We've got two more sea days before we get to Barcelona. We've thoroughly enjoyed our world cruise with a variety of interesting and varied ports. Uh, I think we did 40, 45 countries and we've traveled almost 35,000 miles according to the captain. So it's a, been an adventure that we have enjoyed tremendously. So join us on our next adventure. We don't know where yet, but I'm sure it'll be an adventure. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.